Here's a look at the national map. I just found it so interesting how warm it is when you go west of here. All right, 47 degrees Columbus right now in St. Louis, 52, 67 in Wichita, Omaha, 53. Some of that warmer air is going to try to get a little bit closer to us. We're in the 20s and the 30s. There's a 31 Burlington, 28 Plattsburgh, Saranac Lake right now at 21 degrees. Newport doing a 28. 28 degrees Montpelier, 32 Lebanon, 27 degrees Springfield, and again, temperatures getting a little bit closer to 30 or right on 30, as the case may be, in places like Keene. All right, this is a look at Storm Tracker 5000. We've had some very light snow shower activity going on out there through the afternoon and into tonight as well. We've got a little front that's north of our region. It's really a warm front, but that is triggering off some of the snow showers you're seeing here. You come on down to the south, look over Orange County here, some snow coming down. I mean, it is certainly light. Over toward Haverhill, you come to the north, St. Johnsbury, just a little bit of light snow. And Enosburg Falls, over to Newport, Derby. And again, I can't stress this enough, it is very light stuff. Just a little bit northern New York, but the aerial coverage has actually diminished some in northern New York. Here's the setup. See this low right here? That is the system that's going to bring a ton of moisture. It's south of us now, but it's going to come on in here. There's that little warm front that I was just talking about. And we've had a change in wind direction. That high pressure that was over us last night when it got mighty cold around here, offshore, more of a southerly flow. And because of that, it's not going to be all that cold tonight. But we've got the system coming from the south. The rain arrives by later in the afternoon. Before that happens, maybe a few snow showers or even some sleet. I mean, we could see it, a few ice pellets here and there. And then this cold front is going to go through later on Saturday into the beginning of Sunday. And then we're talking about a cooler day, second half of the weekend. This is Futurecast, 1230 in the morning. There's just plain not that much going on. We'll take you right through the overnight and let you know. First thing tomorrow morning, for most of us, it's going to be dry. Maybe the odd snow shower lingering from that system that's just to the north of us. But watch what happens here. We'll bring you right up to lunchtime or so. And we've got some rain around. It's not all that organized. I think the heaviest rain throughout the storm system is going to be to the south. But we're going to find some areas with rain. And then it's really filling in a little bit more by later in the afternoon. The farther east and north you go, the better the likelihood you find more snow. Like northern Maine should end up with a bunch of snow from this system. But let's take you past 5 o'clock here locally tomorrow night. And we're still looking at snow until the overnight when we find that colder air getting yanked back down. So we're finding the rain mixing with snow and then changing over almost completely by the morning on Sunday. So if there's any mix at all Sunday morning, it doesn't last. Then we have snow going to snow showers. So we'll talk about how much in just a second. For tonight, temperatures bottoming out about 27. Chance for a couple of snow showers, seeing that right now. Highs tomorrow in the 30s and also as you get into the 40s, thinking two to four inches to the north, a little bit less to the south. I think close to two inches right in the Champlain Valley. In the northern Green Mountains, three to six inches. 39 degrees tomorrow. We've got rain afternoon into tomorrow night going back to snow. Snow showers on Sunday, 35. Monday nights, 42 degrees. St. Patty's Day, cloudy. And we've got some snow showers in there. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday looking pretty good. 28, 33, and then 31.